Hi Scorpio, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you're well and welcome back to the channel and I'm going to start the reading off with a psychic reading it's a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign uh, also welcome to back to the channel uh, to my cyber angels and thank you very much for sharing and liking and giving us a thumbs up and also um, welcome to new people please click on the sub and um, hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live as I go live Monday Wednesday and Friday unless something else happens in between um, and um, of course thank you very much for liking and subscribing and I will be going next from next week onwards I'm going to try out that the most hits and the likes uh, will start I will start off the weekly readings with that zodiac sign at the moment it is Gemini and Capricorn the Gemini is the highest and then Capricorn there's also a competition going on so I hope you've seen the video on the competition you can win a free deck and there's first place second place and third place go and have a look at the video like I said and then you'll get the the right details because I'm only human but you can win this deck brand new deck the Shadowland Tarot by Monica Bodursky and in the second place if the, the if the first place person in the first place already has the um, the shadow deck then they can choose between the shadow deck and the vice versa deck and otherwise the vice versa deck will be for the second place it is one of my uh, used decks and of course the third place is 20 minutes free reading so go and find out what you have to do and there's also questions beneath the video as to what you have to do and I hope you will join in more the merrier Brenda is helping me to um, uh, uh, judge the uh, the product let me put it that way and I will be going uh, from time to time live just to discuss how you are getting on with your product and whether you have any glitches or clinches or issues with the product and bringing it into practice <laughs> I hope I've made you nosy so and this go to the website there I've also uploaded the competition video but also my new reviews the review on this deck it um, helps not to scout around on playlists on YouTube okay I'm going to start off the the deck uh, the reading with the psychic reading like I said and I have been sh shoveling the cards uh, for you and here we go I'm going to stop shoveling now and first of all I see that some of you are at war with yourself you are trying to break a habit or perhaps you are trying to alter something in your life and it is to reset the reset button is pretty difficult you're finding it harder like for example you want to stop smoking you're finding it harder to stop smoking perhaps of you perhaps some of you might be doing it called turkey so try to think of a uh, help or an other option there is also I see you clearing out you are clearing out the car or a cupboard or the house um, this could be with a, a change of a lifestyle or a change of something uh, this could also be that you want to get a new wardrobe and you're throwing out all the uh, things now that the shops are open again you might be wanting to go on a shopping spree so I did this first card jumped up so out so I did want to leave that and you've got the eight of cups the eight of cups there you go the eight of cups is confirming and the eight of cups is means that you want to go onto a new path 
okay you want to go and find excitement adventure you want something challenging you are bored with the old stuff okay well that is clearing out in my in, in my eyes so how apt is that but don't throw anything away yet until you've found a replacement okay right uh, what else uh, you're also in your powerhouse I'm not going to take these because they're flipped and there were two um, uh, eight is eight is money house and powerhouse you are in your power and you might be getting money you might be earning more money um, you're in your power wow okay come on let's have a and then you've got the nine of swords you might have sleepless nights but it's coming to an end use your wisdom get out of your head give your problems over to the angels and the divine okay something is coming to um, an end okay it's not as scary as it seems there's new beginnings okay and you've got the ten of swords perhaps you feel that somebody stabbed you in the back an end nine ten an end is here at the end of the week you are clearing out all that's no use you are clearing out everything that is of no use Ooh, you've got the six of cups new beginning end of a friendship you might have pain in the back okay you're done with people that aren't real can't get their act together now you might be reminiscing about the past you've got the six of cups but somebody from the past might be coming back and bringing you a gift or a present and underneath the deck you have the two of swords what did I say you're too much in your head you're not seeing things you're not seeing things right you don't know how to go about certain things you need to find the way okay now we're going on to the Linamon and that's the mirror truth and I've also made a review about this deck and I love this deck it's very beautiful the artistry and it's very clear and I love Linamon you know that child child that's new beginnings again loads of new beginnings and endings for you so long you open your eyes and you're focused around you not just in front of you new beginnings perhaps a birth of a child or a pregnancy a project this could be a new house a new job a new hobby a new passion perhaps be more playful don't be too serious and you've got the jack of swords yes the jack of spades so judicial news perhaps um, something will become clear to you you could be meeting a Gemini a Libra or um, an Aquarian a young person or a person that is younger than you beautiful I love that card and 13 to me means fellowship from the I Ching and one and three is four so there is stability returning especially with this new beginning that you're wanting look at that the Sun has popped out there you are you can't do without the dark and this is dark because it's night and this is the Sun the Sun coming up so new beginnings and 31 is also four stability will return you might be moving home going on holiday hearing of a birth of a child a project you might find out that somebody's pregnant or hear about it you might become a father a grandfather an uncle if you're too not married or not hooked up or whatever and you've got the ace of diamonds so money money new job perhaps an inheritance a gift 
Perhaps that is that gift that you might be receiving from somebody from the past. You are in the spotlight. You meet might meet a Leo. Okay, but don't exclude the sun is Leo, but don't exclude Aries or Sagittarius. Okay, your relationship might go up a next level or your career. Okay, now let's see what else we have for you. Ah, there are things you don't know. Could be secrets. You've got the moon. Day and night, night and day. 31 is 4, but 13 is friends. So I think there's going to be new friends. You're going to be more playful. But you've got the moon. You might be more intuitive than normal. You might be more sensitive than normal. You might meet a Pisces because uh, Pisces is the moon. Okay. And you know, this clock is 10 past 10. You know, cowboy time. Cowboy time is past. You want to be serious. Or if you have been too serious, you need some more cow cowboy time. Some fun. There you go. Holiday. You need more information. So, for example, um, there might be a Pisces that has secrets. And you need more information. That's the dark side of the moon. Or if you go on holiday, you need to get more information if you're allowed to go, if you can travel. Okay. Yeah, time is of essence. Time could be of essence or take your time. You know what it means. It's the eight of hearts, the eight of club uh, cups. Wow. That's the same as this. The eight of cups. You want a new beginning. You're done with the old boring way. You want excitement and adventure. Well, I think you're going to get it. Especially if you're moving home or going on holiday. You're moving on. I think it's going to be double. Double the meaning. Like you're done with fooling around. You're not a cowboy. And I think you're going to get serious. But you're going, you have your playful side, like your feminine side and your masculine side if you're a lady. So I think some of you will be serious, but also make time out for play. Time for play. Make time for play. Work, work, work and makes Jack a dull boy. Okay. And then we've got a lady. You might be meeting a lady. Or if you are a lady, you might be meeting a man that's nurturing. Love, passion, nurturing, caring, sensuality and sexuality are in are the woman's aspects okay and that is the ace of swords so justice will be done if somebody if a lady's done you wrong and you're a lady you will receive justice victory is yours because it's the ace of swords perhaps new communication if you haven't been communicating if you're a man with your girlfriend or if you're have a girlfriend, a best friend of life, and then you and you have been not talking to each other, then there might be new communication. There could be a new study, a new job, justice, new wisdom, uh, and victory in if you are in judicial, judicial, judicial situation. Okay, and the bottom of the card is you see problems everywhere you've got the mountain oh it's come out so much since um leo and that's the eight of wands the eight of wands 
and that is things are going to happen all at once all together it's not going to rain it's going to pour boom 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 and it also means travel things are happening very fast news through cyber email text message telephone calls Ooh, this could be business this could be people asking you to come and work for them well you know you don't have to climb the mountain you can walk the path take your time but remember time if you are having to work on deadlines time is of the essence okay 21 you'll be creative you've got the eight the house of money and power you're standing in your power you've got the power you have control don't make mountains out of molehills or don't make an elephant out of a fly don't create more problems than that that there are than there is take those blindfolds off and look around you like you're walking away you're walking away perhaps you'll walk you you're walking away from a playful situation that could be a lot of passion you're walking away from playful situations you want something that is real the child had to learn perhaps somebody's coming back because they were childish and they had to learn what you wanted and realize that if they want to keep you then they would have to grow up and be more serious at the right time and be playful also at the right time it could be a new passion this is new but it's also fire could be with a Leo but don't exclude other fire signs be careful though because you've got the dark side of the moon there are things that you don't know about if this is a broken friendship or relationship they could be coming back they could be playing a game and again and again the same gay game like coming back and tug on your sympathy strings look at least all these strings it might have already happened nine times don't let it happen a tenth time boom because you'll be dead not not literally but you know what I mean your emotions will die each time that you get stabbed in the back so take those blindfolds off and look at what is underneath this magic you are in your power don't have any illusions okay and don't create dis uh, illusions stay the real you don't go back to where you were that's taking a step back instead of a step forward it's a new beginning create your own world the way you want it stand in your power you have eight um, eight so you are in your power remember that let the truth come out if this is a lady that that's done you wrong and if you are the lady and it's a man then stand your ground be more like a business person learn don't create problems but learn to be strong and nurture yourself love yourself be the beacon Oh, look sensual that will make them think twice <laughs> doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman now let's have a look what the love cards say oh I love this reading it really ooh, the readings it's always amazes me how strange the reason uh, readings are you've got 29 there number 11 the angels are with you okay at the end of the week you might be out of balance but there's definitely proper foundations there are proper foundations being built you're being more careful four and four is eight remember that so your angels are with you eleven four and four eight and eight 
amazing balance over all that's a two so open your heart open that solar plex throw away those swords and take off the blindfold come out of your head true love I think you're going to find somebody new this is the romance of a lifetime I think m a lot of you that are not hooked up or have just split up will find somebody new yes you've got too many new beginnings and especially the Sun that's so positive Whoopee! you've got 10 that's also a new beginning you've learned your lesson not to be stabbed in the back anymore and look at the angel feather yellow go and sit out in the Sun catch the yellow positive thinking stay positive the angels urge you to take control of your thought processes you've been worrying too much this causes your mind to race during the day and for you to sleep poorly at night there you go beautiful it comes together okay Scorpio I hope you've enjoyed this reading and take care be blessed and I hope to see you in your life as I go live Monday Wednesday and Friday and please share and like and I will be doing the zodiac first that has the highest likes so make sure you uh, give us the thumbs up and I'll see you later tonight ciao ciao